What's up guys, Juice Mercy here, welcome to a brand new video. Today, we've got a squad around Footmas day one players from the SBC. So De Rossi, we've also got Parolo and Rufia in there. So three very good rated players and three pretty attainable ones and fairly cheap in comparison to what we have in day two, the likes of Bamyang, Benteke and Hamshik. And I also want to apologize for my voice if it sounds very, very tired. I've just woken up and for some reason, my voice sounds tired for about three hours after. It takes a lot longer to wake up than I do personally. So no idea about that. And uh, yeah, let's get into the video. So before we get started, as always, be sure you support on the video by leaving a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content. And in the comments below, have you got Rufier, De Rossi, or Parolo? So the formation we're going with is a 4-3-2-1, of course it is. And I'm not gonna lie, right now I'm thoroughly enjoying playing FIFA Ultimate Team. Like before, you may notice I hadn't played many games on my account because I was playing for recording video purposes, and that was pretty much it. But the last, like say, three or four days, I've been grinding it a lot. Like yesterday, I'm pretty sure I played like 25 matches somehow and uh, they were all in divisions and stuff. So I was really enjoying myself and then I got to use this team. So first up in net, the first SBC player, Rufier, who is 86 rated. Now, um, I really loved his team this season last year on FIFA 16 and it's a great card, very cheap. This one, I think he's currently in form this week and now we've got an SBC on top of it. You still have got time to complete it by the way, I think it's like 5 or 6 p.m. UK time. But they are only out for 24 hours. But if you can't get them, then normals will work absolutely fine. So Rufia, 86 rated, 85 diving, 90 reflexes, 87 handling, 81 kicking, and 86 positioning. 6 foot 2, so an okay height for a goalkeeper. Nothing too spectacular. I think overall cost you... It's pretty a horrible guess, but I imagine like 50k. Now, in comparison to his current inform price, I'm not sure if it's worth it or not. Um, he may be even cheaper than 50k because it probably costs like, I don't know, it costs like 25k if that because I had the players in my club anyway. So I thought it was good value for money. Next up, we've gone to right back and that is Hector Bellerin. I'd be all over it if he gets, say, a card. I think his number is 24. So if he does get a card on Christmas Eve, I'd be so happy to get that as I love his normal card. 89 games played two goals and six assists from the right back role. Uh, 95 pace, 74 defending, 77 dribbling, only 68 physical, which isn't fantastic. But if you believe in chemistry styles, I do have Sentinel on him, which boosts defending and physical a lot. Now this is just personal preference. You can use Carl Walker and get the same chemistry and imagine we just as good in game. I do have Walker, but for me, I think Bellerin, uh, for some reason, he just edged it a little bit. Next up, we go on to Kurt Zuma of Chelsea. I've used him for 41 games. I wasn't even aware of that. But he's 6 foot 3, 73 pace, 80 defending and 81 physical. Now he's basically made for FIFA because he has everything to be a very overpowered player. Given the fact he is 6 foot 3, has good pace, good defending and also good physical. Very good player for knocking people off the ball and won't be beaten in the air very often. His partner back is a team in the group stage, Rafael Varane. He sent me back 130,000 coins. And I think, like, looking at that card, that is really good value for money. The card design itself, I really do love. He's 86 rated. And his card stats, 80 pace, 89 defending, and 83 physical. He's also 6 foot 3. So that combo with Kurzuma is pretty unstoppable. And now using more and more French players, I'm fully aware of why people go down the France route uh, for foot champs and stuff. They have so many good players in pretty much every position other than right back. But yeah, Rafael Varane, fantastic player. Really do like him. And the left back, the final defender is going to be Benoit Tremolinas from Sevilla. You can use either Cohen Trout or Marcelo, but for me, Tremolinas is my go-to guy. His on-card stats are pretty damn solid across the board. I mean, 71 physical, it's not outstanding, but when you have uh, Varane and also Kurt Zuma next to him, you're not really going to notice that too much. So Tremolinas for me, very good fullback. Then we got to midfield trio, and we've got two SBC players. Of course we do. Let's start off the main man, N'Golo Kante. I've used it for 98 games now. This is just his normal card. I did have his uh, first owner version of his inform, but I cashed in on that at like 310k. For some reason, his price absolutely booned for about three days. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to cash in on that. And now he's gone back down to 250 or so. So I sold him. It's a big price. It's very difficult to turn down. Hence, why I'm back to using the A21 rated card. But this one in my eyes, is pretty much just as good. Now, I'm not going to say too much else about him because he does feature in pretty much every school I do because of how good and how pivotal he is in my play style. Now, we've gone to the first famous player in midfield, and that is going to be Marco Parolo 
from Lazio. A fantastic looking card. It does only say one goal, zero assists in six games, but I think uh, personally, it's a bit misleading. And the reason I say that is because that makes him look like he hasn't really done too much. Whereas I wish there was a tab, like where it says play details there. If there's one to the right of that, which said like advanced stats, I'd be all over that because I'd like to know his pass accuracy. He got so many interceptions as well. Like in my eyes, you can't really judge a CM based on goals and assists. I'd like to see advanced stuff just to kind of prove my point that he's a good player in the game. But his stats, he's nearly all 80 club and minus the pace. Actually, I'm pretty sure if you put anchor chemistry style on him, he would boost above 80 pace by quite some margin. So a really nice card. The one goal he did score was an absolute worldie in the first game. And I think if he did invest quite well getting the informed cards and stuff in, I'm pretty sure Perot would be a very good option to have as uh, he's quite a big upgrade from his base card. The far midfielder is going to be another Italian, Daniele De Rossi from Roma, the legend himself. And again, six games, zero goals, one assist. It doesn't show the full picture. And the reason I say that is because he is just an out and out CDM, just like N'Golo Kante, uh, medium high work rates, ridiculously good physical and defending, 85 and 86, decent pace, 75 dribbling, 78 passing, but he really is an anchoring game. And by that, I mean a player that will sit back, get a lot of interceptions and break up play uh, very easy. If there's like a 50-50 ball for most players, for him, it's like a 90-10. I'll definitely be using him again very, very soon. Now we've gone to the final three players, and it's a, it's a front of three of dreams, really. It's got a bit of everything. A bit of pace, actually, no, a lot of pace, and uh, also some four-star skill moves in there. But let's start off with Player of the Month, Raheem Sterling, who I've used a lot. 127 games, 88 goals, and 71 assists. Now, I'm pretty happy with that. Like, some people may think that's quite poor, but I think, like, 150-plus goal contributions in 127 games for a winger, that is pretty damn impressive. He's my go-to right-side player this year. 95 pace, 89 dribbling, 80 shot, and at 76 passing. I'm so glad I got this one done, as I know a lot of people, they do regret not having him. His weak foot really isn't too much of an issue, as when I get the ball with his right foot, he's pretty deadly anyway. Four-star skills is a bonus and a really nice player to have in your squad. Let's go on to the striker now. That is going to be Daniel Sturridge. Six games played, six goals, and three assists. Now, in the first two or three games, he wasn't really scoring too many goals, whereas he was getting a lot of assists in comparison to his goal contribution. But still, he ended up getting six goals in the six games. Six foot two, three-star skill moves, two-star weak foot. He should be four-star skills, I'm not going to lie. And uh, his right foot, that's his big, like, flaw. It's not very good. Just like Iron Robin, he is dominantly left-footed on this game. If you get on his right foot, just try get on his left at some point and uh, get the shot away of that one. But his card stats, 89 pace, 81 dribbling, 83 shot and 70 physical. And like I may have mentioned before, he's also six foot two. So he's a, he's a target man, but a very quick one. I was going to use a second in form Harry Kane, but I was like, you know what? Sturridge is a better player in this game. He's just quicker and he's also pretty much the same height. So for me, Sturridge is my go-to English striker now. The final player is the in form Insigne from Napoli. He cost me 56,500 coins, played six games with him, got four goals and two assists. I really enjoyed him. I loved his normal card, which does also work in the team, by the way. He's only five foot four, so a very, very small player, but somehow he wins a lot of headers. Uh, but his card stats, 91 pace and dribbling, 78 shot and 83 passing. Three star skill moves, four star weak foot, a tiny little player. And uh, by little, again, I'm definitely meaning he is very, very small. But there's a team in general, some nice, nice players in there. Pretty damn colourful with uh, three SBC players, a team in the group stage, and a player of the month. But now let's transition over to the gameplay and show you what the three SBC players can do and what you can expect if you're going to use them. So moving on to the gameplay then. First up, I want to say I played six games, one all six. And like I said at the very start of the video, I really enjoy playing FIFA right now. I'm playing some good football on there and winning a lot of games. And this team, it was it's just a nice team to have. It had a lot of balance about it and the right pace and strength in the right area. So first up, the first SBC player, uh, De Rossi. He's really good anchor, like I said before. His stats don't do him justice. Like, I wish you'd see more advanced stats and interceptions. I'll show you some examples just to show what the type of stuff he does. Um, if there's a loose ball, he'll slide in automatically and get there. That's the thing I really, really like about him. And um, the 50-50 situation for him, uh, it's like a 90-10. Then we go on to Parolo. Same as De Rossi. Stats-wise, it doesn't really, like, it doesn't flatter him. It makes him look like a very average player in the team. Um, in comparison to what he really contributed. Because for me in a 4-3-2-1, um, my left forward and right forward and the striker, they're the ones that get other goals or assists. The centre mids don't really do anything, apart from defend and they get the ball to the front three 
if you understand what I mean. Also has a great long shot then, by the way. Pirolo, fantastic all-rounded player. Now we're going to Rufia as he makes a great save there. Uh, he's a very solid goalkeeper. But like for me, all goalkeepers on this game make errors. So I won't really say like, it's just him. Um, he lets some goals I expect him to save. But he, um, but he also like saves some shots that I don't expect him to save. So it kind of evens itself out. As like even players like Manuel Neuer. Um, I think I even came against him last night. He, he's not as good as the rating kind of suggests. Like really, 92 rate goalkeeper. I'm not saying he should be unbeatable, but he should at least make a lot of saves in comparison to like say a 75 or an 82 Jack Butland, for example. The rest of the team then it has a mixture of everything, pace, strength and skill, and the defense. It was just like a delight to use. Varane is unbelievably good. Insigne at uh, the left forward role, he's untouchable when he gets going. And finally Sturridge, he's a great hold up player with 89 pace. So guys, that is going to be the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, show your support by leaving a like rating. That'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to my channel, click subscribe button for daily FIFA content and the comments below. Are you going to be doing any of the Christmas SBCs? So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.